Yeah, welcome to this screencast. And in this screencast, I want to show you the brand new XFCE 4.8 desktop. So this is a freshly newly built XFCE version 4.8.0. And as you can see, I've customized the theme and the look a little bit. And let's go to straight to the applications uh, settings or the um, appearance settings in the settings manager to see what has changed here. So I think nothing much uh, has changed here. You have still the list where you can choose the style. Normally the XFCE style is uh, used here and the icon theme, the GNOME icon theme is used. But this looks a little bit too old for me so I've installed Shiki Brave. The um, Brave theme and the icon, GNOME Brave icon theme. Uh, you have some font settings as well, just like in good old um, XFC. I think what's new is the uh, anti-aliasing settings, the rendering settings, uh, what uh, they changed here. So you now have the option to have a slight, medium or full hinting and you can change the sub-pixel ordering here as well. And of course there are some settings. Uh, the toolbar style settings is also something known from the version 4.6 but what's new is enable sound events. Uh, this allows you to enable uh, sound for different events like input feedback sounds, uh, mouse clicks, uh, arrow sounds and so on. So this is new. Uh, let me go back to the settings. Um, what's also very cool and new is the display manager which allows you now to um, select the different a different resolution for your uh, LCD monitor. Uh, refresh rate, rotation, which is also very handy um, especially if you have multiple um, displays connected to your laptop for example um, and those will then automatically got, uh, get detected and then uh, will get an entry here in the list. And you have also the option to um, make a reflection which is basically a clone mode of uh, your laptop and you can set horizontal, vertical or both here. Uh, also very nice. Uh, this is one new feature in XFCE 4.8. Then there are uh, there's some other nice little tweaks. I think the keyboard uh, management has uh, been slightly polished a little bit. The application shortcuts now work better. So when you want to adjust or create a shortcut, you can first in the in insert uh, the command and then you need to press uh, down uh, the keyboard combination. And they have now a layered configurator. I'm not really sure op, uh, if this um, layout configuration is only available in the Xubuntu uh, world or was only available in the Xubuntu world uh, and wasn't in the upstream version. But it is here in the upstream version as you can see now and you can change, you can either use the system defaults or change to uh, whatever layout you want to use. This is pretty nice. I'm, I don't, I'm not quite sure if it, is, uh, if it was in the, the 4.6 release or not, but this is a nice little uh, feature for configuration. And then this is very nice, a new panel configuration. And this is not only a new configuration, the whole panel system, so the whole XFCE panel has been uh, rewritten. And as you can see here, you now get this red mark around the panel that's currently selected which is also very cool so if you have more than one panel uh, this allows you to see which uh, panel sh settings you are now adjusting. You can have um, of course the orientation this is very um, a new feature of course as well and you can set here if you want to have a vertical or horizontal orientation. Hor uh, vertical is very important or very handy if you want to uh, have an, a panel on the left or on the right. So let me just unlock the panel here and adjust it to the uh, adjust it. 
you can see I can put it up and down only because I'm now in the uh, horizontal um, orientation mode so I can put it on, uh, in the middle <laughs> as well which is some kind somehow not so not so useful I think but if I change the uh, orientation to vertical you can see it is now on the left and I can drag it to the right if I want to or leave it to the left then I have also the option to lock this panel um, automatically show and hide this panel which is also very nice if you want this panel to auto hide you can uh, set of course the pixel size of the panel so it is still in uh, this vertical mode a little bit uh, strange as you can see here with the um, with the task management and the window management uh, which is yeah a little bit crazy <laughs> I think for vertical mode but there is an uh, option just right click on on the handler of the task um, buttons go into the properties mode and here you have the option to set um, rotate buttons in vertical panel or don't rotate them if you want uh, then the normal way I would say so this is the configuration of the panel so I think this is uh, pretty stable now in the 4.6 release I have had a lot of issues especially with vertical panels um, but this is I think a lot better now with uh, this newly rewritten panel what's also very nice is uh, that you can uh, set the pixel uh, not only the pixel size but also the length so you can make it smaller and uh, bigger and you can automatically increase the length um, depending on uh, the tasks uh, that are running here and so on then you can set the appearance as well let me lock this panel first you can uh, set a background and solid background and background image and if you set in solid background you can set of course the color here and in the background image a file and you also have the option to set um, the um, transparency of the panel but this is o works only if you enable X-Render so let me first enable the um, composition compositioning element here so as you can see now compositing is running as you uh, move the window it becomes transparent and I right click on the uh, panel and go to the panel preferences you can see that under the appearance tab I have now an opacity uh, mode where I can set um, the opacity when entering the uh, panel and when leaving so this allows me to set that um, when leaving the panel I have an opacity of 40 and if I'm going with my mouse to the panel 100 or well, let me uh, put it to 80 or something so this is a really nice effect I think uh, it does not need a lot of resources even on uh, slower PCs so I think this effect is really cool and what's really uh, nice is that um, it also runs with all the open source um, drivers so the Nouveau driver, the uh, ATI driver and the Intel driver as well so this is really cool and yeah what's really cool also is uh, that with this uh, little trick you can also make an auto hide like uh, when leaving panel is uh, completely transparent so this is works just like auto hide a little bit faster perhaps because the panel does not disappear it is only fully transparent so this is also a nice trick so let me close this as you can see here we are in the uh, window manager tweaks uh, nothing really has changed here uh, I think in the options this is these are all the standard options um, nothing has changed in the window manager I think nothing big oh I think one thing has changed here I can set now the button layout this is uh, interesting not for this theme I think but for the default theme this is the default theme and look of the window border ring and as you can see here I can now drag those uh, buttons here to rearrange them 
I think this is new. I'm, I'm not quite sure if it was in the 4.6 release. Uh, this is new, and I can hide. This this kind of remind me ri reminds me of the settings in uh, KDE, which looks uh, pretty similar. So this is also really nice. Let me switch back to my favorite skin here. I have some keyboard settings also uh, for the window shortcuts, so for the window management uh, control. And you can see it set some uh, shortcuts here. So you now have, um, I think, in the in the previous release you had all the shortcuts put in together for the window management and for the uh, application management basically and now you have it separated. Uh, you have them some focus management options here, advanced options as well and uh, session startup normally you can set your splash screen and uh, um, application auto start session and advanced. So this is nothing new so I think I showed you everything basically uh, from uh, the pref preferences or settings pane. So now let's go to the file manager because there has been a lot going on in the file manager. As you can see here of course we now have some eject buttons which is nice but we can also mount now um, drives directly when clicking and it is not using the old Thuna VFS um, module basically but it's now using GVFS I think this is how it's called and this allows you not to only browse local file systems but also remote file systems like NFS drives or SSH uh, service and so on so let me try to go to the network here you can see we now have a uh, Windows network here for SMBs and local network and as you can see I'm uh, running a uh, Mac Mini here over on my desktop and I can access this Mac Mini uh, with SSH I need to give it give it my login names normally in uh, older releases you should uh, you had to use an application like uh, Gigolo which allows you to do this now uh, Thuna allows you to do it within its manager. It needs a little bit of improvement I think because uh, normally uh, it would be nice to go directly into the users uh, directory and I think I'm not in, the, in my users directory or am I? Um, no, I'm not because there's a users directory and then there's my user. So it would be nice to have an auto detection of the user uh, it is implemented in uh, KDE Dolphin somehow so that when you entering your password and your username it will automatically go into the right directory so in this case users slash uh, leak and yeah I think um, this is a very nice and cool uh, little features, uh, feature what I didn't found was an unmount like in Nautilus when you uh, yeah, when you connect to a remote uh, file system like SSH you get an uh, basically in virtual file system uh, disk basically and you can unmount it. Uh, this is something I didn't found in here so no uh, unmounting. I, I guess it will unmount it uh, in some time when you change uh, to another local storage or somewhere else it will then somehow unmount uh, the network drive uh, with a timeout or something like this. So this is basically everything for this uh, short introduction to XFCE 4.8. I didn't found anything new radically changed um, or changing in this uh, release. Uh, of course the um, panel elements as well have, uh, have some changes. Um, let me show you some in the window buttons uh, where you can um, show button labels or don't show them. So this is now a unified um, unified panel plugin. You don't need two pl plugins, one for the buttons with the labels and one without them. You have now the option to choose here. You can use flat buttons of course, um, show the handle or not, which is I think also new. And you have uh, group options and filtering options for workspace, for different workspaces, especially if you have multi-monitoring set up. You can now set up uh, which um, minimized windows or which uh, windows uh, should be drawn on uh, which desktop and so on. So this is very very nice. You can add of course some uh, new stuff 
let me go to the panel preference some items here this is also new the items uh, menu where you can see all the items I think they have uh, not stolen but they have um, have uh, had a look at the uh, XFs at, at the LXDE panel which has also some um, uh, list which allows you to then move those stuff around here which is also very handy uh, and I think this is a good nice uh, new configuration dialog for the XFC4 panel and yeah there's some new plugins I think let me show you some add some items here so you, uh, you now have some more items just like the um, where is it directory menu which allows you to see uh, directories so I can now go into uh, different directories let me go to this one I can open it with a normal file manager or I can open it in terminal and if I have subdirectories so let me create a subdirectory here ah, not open your window create a folder sub and go into the subdirectory and create empty file for example you can now navigate into the subdirectory di directly and uh, open it up what you can't do is and I think in for the next version I would prefer it to have it is also not only show uh, the um, folders but also show the files inside the folders let me check if it is possible no it's not possible you can show hidden files so it will only show uh, hidden um oh wait file pattern perhaps when i type in this here it will show me all files yes it does so this is cool but it doesn't show the file in the subdirectory my new empty file um so i can play a little bit with uh, this features i think this is a re very nice uh, feature for Ah, now it shows my empty file here. Very nice feature for quickly searching, quickly going into directories and so on. So this is also a very nice improvement in XFCE 4.8 and I think this is everything that I have uh, seen so far in changes for the user side of things. I um, hope you enjoyed this screencast on XFCE 4.8.0 and it should be in the repositories yeah, shortly after this screencast I hope and for all the major distributions as, uh, of course and yeah thanks for watching and until the next time